Hi, this is Shilpa here. So now we are going to look at how do you use the repertory search application. So what we're going to do is we're going to now, this is my um, home request next gen offline software. I'm going to click on the repertory search tab. Now this specific tab is for a global repertorization search, which means that whatever words you put in, in this section here are going to be searched from all repertories that we have in the home you know in the home request software that you own so if you check your library you will see at any given time what repertories you have so i have the complete the kent the Boninghausen, the boriki the borges the clarks the nair the lippe and the robertson session as well all right so we go back to the repertory search and uh we, we get going. So I have a case for you today. So I've just copied it. It's Hanneman's case from the archives of Pulsatilla. It's a case of vertigo and vomiting. This is a pale man of 42 years who came to Hanneman on the 27th of December 1815 and he had the following eight symptoms. So I thought let's try and you know search for these symptoms and these rubrics from the repertory search all right so the first one is he came without any cause he ha he was sick giddy with much eructation so you have possibly three different components here you have somebody who is vomity nauseous who is giddy and who is having eructation so let's try and check for those so say for example we look at nausea and we have a space and then we put the next one, which is, um, say, vertigo, all right, vertigo. So notice I've put a space in between two words that you want to search, and you press search. So what you see is nausea and vertigo has come up from every possible repertory, from every possible section. So this is from Kent's repertory. This is from Roger's complete repertory. If you go down, you see there is nausea and vertigo in respiration section. Who would have thought that? Uh, then if you go below, what else? You have most of them, perspiration. Can you imagine from Kent's repertory, cold nausea with vertigo. So what this whole process does is it gives you your words from every possible repertory, from every possible section. So you are not restricted. You get the whole spectrum of the database. And that is why I'm such a big fan of repertory search because it just gives you such a big zone of options. You're not, you know, because normally if you go to the repertory browser and you start restricting yourself to just one particular, you know, nose vertigo section, you are limited, right? So that's the whole idea here. Look at that. Bonninghausen has nausea and vomiting aggravation vertigo with. Then it has in the nausea vomiting chapter concomitants vertigo. Such beautiful rubrics come up for you from different repertories. In Boriki, you have it in the stomach section and so on and so forth. So what's happening is if you click on a particular rubric, all the remedies for that particular rubric come up here. All right? Graded into, you know, different columns. So whichever rubric you choose, if you want to check the remedies for that rubric, you find them here, right? Now, if you want to check from which particular repertory, which chapter actually, and you want to land on that particular repertory and that chapter, what you need to do is click on the chapter name and you land on that, you know, in Ken's repertory, inside Vertigo, on the rubric, and then you can possibly check for other remedies and check for other rubrics around that if you want to just browse the repertory, all right? If you want to go back to your repertory search, we go back and that's your repertory search. Make sense? So this is the way you can now look at different rubrics and different words. So let's go back to our patient data. We can look at another symptom, nausea with eructation. So go back to repertory search, put nausea and put eructation. So notice I've put in part words here because you want eructation, eructations, Erupt, you know, you want to have lots of options there. So there you go. Eructation comes up very well in Nair's repertory. Eructation comes up at Lippe's repertory and so on. 
you can choose whatever rubric you feel is the best one for your case. Let's look at another rapid, another search. Uh, what else? He has the following night about 2 a.m. He had sour vomiting. Let's go and check for sour vomiting. So you put in sour space vomit. I don't put vomiting because I want all the options vomiting, vomitas, vomits, vomited, you know. So please, as far as possible, put part words. And you go search. There you go. You have vomiting sour. You know, choose the biggest possible rubric. That's just my take on it. You have from Kent's repertory, you have from Bonninghausen's repertory, and so on and so forth. Now, let's look at another one. Subsequent night severe eructation. So what's happening here is you can see there is some sort of an aggravation at night. So you could actually take in, in the repertory search, you can put in night aggravation to space am okay now i don't put in aggravation because there are some chapters where aggravation might not be the word it might be just night 2 a.m okay so there you go as you see here in generalities it's like night 2 a.m in the ken's repertory uh what else you have time repert uh, section in borger's repertory where you have night 2 a.m so fever night 2 a.m delirium night so you just get all oh, lots of options there but you know see the beauty of not choosing a section we never realized that generalities in Kent's repertory had night 2 a.m but a time in Borges repertory has night 2 a.m aggravations so if you don't know your repertory as well this is really great because you don't need to know where it comes from okay next we look at uh, what else he was again sick with fetid sour taste in the mouth eructations uh, of fetid and sour taste so let's look at that one uh, Eructations. Okay, eructations, belching, fetid. You have lots of different options from Nair's repertory. Let's look at eructation sour. Okay, again, so many options. Such a lot of, uh, you know, to choose from. Look at the number of remedies here and choose the biggest one. If I were you, I would take something like this. Eructation sour 145 or in complete repertoire of 281 rubrics. Just go for that. Uh, next one. We have food lay crude and undigested in his stomach. So again, not sure where that comes from, uh, but we put in food and we put in undigest. You see what the way I put in? Put words. We, we don't know which section this could come from. Lots of options there. Search for it. And look at this, you know, it comes from eructation chapter in Bonninghausen, it comes from complaints before and after meals in Lippe, it comes from stomach chapter in Roberts, it comes from head chapter in Complete, you know, it's such a beautiful variety, scorbiculum and stomach chapter in Nair's repertory, so on and so forth. So there you go, choose the one that you think is the best one. Next, we have a uh, head felt vacant, hollow, confused as if sensitive some good rubrics here so let's look at those head vacant is it some yeah you have a vacant feeling in the head lots of options for that uh, let's look at head hollow again empty hollow sensation this is a big one this is something I would really choose here head confused so notice I put confused a part word I because we want confusion confused confusing everything to come up all right um, one important thing here uh, when you are looking at all these rubrics if you look at you know you want to look at all the different searches that you've made you know they're all here remember they're all here if you want to check another search you know the one you've done in the past click on that and you would land on that search okay so this is one important tip here all your searches are in there you just have to go and click and check that up all right so you can have unlimited number of searches unlimited number of words you know there is no limit here let's go to another one uh, what else least noise painful okay let's check noise aggravation you could have see lots of different rubrics there noise sensitive so lots of other rubrics, noise sensitive to, uh, 
what else at least not aggravate what other rubrics do we have his mild soft patient disposition now again you can take something like mild mildness or something let's put it mild yeah so you have mildness in you know gentle mild and tender in most of the mind section in Clark it's in the temperament it's a beautiful section where you have all the different types of constitutions in the generality sections of Lippe and so on what else you have uh, he's patient so put patient a part word so you get patient and patience and search and look at that in Rogers you have mind patience um, and there you go so hope that makes sense this is all about so we have repertoire all these different not repertoire searched for all these different sections we'll talk about repertoire history in another chapter right now we're just looking at repertoire search all your rubrics and all your searches are here so you don't have to worry they don't go anywhere you know you click on uh, you know these are the every rubric you can check how many remedies these are the cross references for that rubric um, and then these are the, the, the remedies all sorted into degrees and sections in here so that's one important thing now the other thing is say for example you do want to restrict yourself to one repertory you know something like that so you have something called the options here now in the options notice all the repertories are selected for the repertorization process here okay but say I want to just restrict myself to well my favorite one Bonninghausen so we sort of untick others and just keep the one say I love Clark as well so you can choose or you know unchoose any, any number of repertories that you want say I want just Bonninghausen and Clark uh, and Clarkie and you say okay and then you go and check for favorite patients now notice all the rub all the rubrics are now going to come just from Bodinghausen and Clark so if there is something in Clark we'll see it let's look at it lots of rubrics from Bodinghausen obviously because it's a big book and lots of options there you go you have Clark's clinical repertory adaptations in the clinical repertory so you have these are the two books that you have restricted yourself to so you if you have your favorite books by all means just search from them if you don't you know be uh, open up <laughs> expand look at all different repertories and keep your searches global and I think that's the beauty of the repertory search so hope that makes sense and if you have any questions don't forget to put those down in the discussion forum below and yeah let's just you know go and get it out there all right take care